watch me try to take on my challenge for the giftless. Yeah, you heard that right. The giftless world record. Look at the children. They are cheering me up, saying, "Go, mommy, go, mommy, go!" And this is what I'm about to do. I'm about to lift up. Yeah, that keg. Should I call it the world? Um, the longest balance keg on the head. <laughs> Oops. I'm on indeed, indeed, it's a record-breaking season for Nigerians. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, I am trying to break my own record. Yes. So, hello, welcome back to another episode of Ride with Tinu. Or if you are new here. Welcome to Ride with Tino. My name is Asunike Matishu and on Ride with Tino we discuss about anything discussable. Thank you for staying with me and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Yes, yeah, so I just want to speak about according to the thumbnail and the topic of this video. It's a record breaking season like I said. There has been a mass influx of Nigerians trying to break a record or the or other. The other. But the good, good news is, hey! At the time of filming this video today, June 13, 2023, Sheffield Abbasi, who cost an online buzz when she started the Hilda Abbasi Cookathon, the Guinness World Record Cookathon. She started May 14 and was able to complete it um, at May 16th and thereabouts for um, 100 hours. So today, ha application was finally reviewed and she was awarded the long-awaited award of the longest cooking marathon for an individual yes although she went in for 100 hours but due to some miscalculation according to the guinness world record team they said they found some inaccuracies and then it was reduced and totaled to 93 hours and 11 minutes and woo, it's been a win-win for nigerians it's been a huge and massive win and believe you me the journey to this was not so easy on her part i tell you because before she was awarded many nigerians after seeing this that she was able to do it because she put it up on her um ig live on twitter on you know almost all her social media handles you know they they um, recorded videos of this event and many nigerians including the governor of lagos state put it was a thing for Nigerians because Nigerians expressed joy. You know, many Nigerians in the past, you know, I think we have about 45 um, Guinness World Record holders in Nigeria, but I don't think there was anyone, you know, as massive, as huge, and, you know, having so much clout than Hilda Bassi's own. Well, it's not surprising because she said she took a total of about five years in planning this. So she was able to defeat the previous world record holder who is Lata, um, Lata Tondon, I think, yes, from India, who was, you know, awarded that in um, the year 2019. And there was another chef, however, who sprung up around the period of um, June 10, yes, I think June 10, for her own cooking marathon. She was going for 120 hours, and I'm talking about no other person than Chef Dami, who is from Ekiti State, a young girl also, who has been cooking, yes. She had already gone 15 hours according to the social media handle that posted her cooking video and she was gone in for 120 to surpass Hilda's 100 hours. Now, tell you why, this caused a lot of frenzy on social media space as a whole lot of Nigerians were not okay with that fact and many people were actually bashing her and saying she shouldn't have started this, not at least until when Guinness World Record actually confirms Hilda's own which she actually started way before Chef Dami. Now it is important to note that after Hilda's um, 100 hours, many chefs sprung up, some from other um, African um, nations <laughs> and also some funny stuff from you know social media space. So what are your thoughts? Now, as at the time of making this video, 
Chef Dami has actually completed, according to the social media handle, she has completed 100 hours and she still has like 20 hours to go. Well, at the time of releasing this video, I don't know if she would have been able to complete that. But as a Nigerian or just as, even if you're not a Nigerian, what do you think about that? Do you think that Chef Dami was actually negative? Do you think she was trying to steal the spotlight? Or do you think she was actually trying to hijack something that wasn't meant for but her? One thing I like Hilda. about her, Hilda, Chef, Hilda actually sent, you know, encouraging words, encouraging Chef Dami mass influx of Nigerians trying to break one record or the other just like I was trying to break my own I've seen so many online there is the prayer thorn I've seen there is a fryer thorn there is a whole lot of you know fits or strides can I say it, Nigerians this is opening another part of Nigerians I think Nigerians are just <laughs> were very competitive. In Nonetheless, Hilda was actually awarded um, this prize. In my own opinion, I think this is a win-win for the both of them because before Chef Dami sprung up with her own 120 ass cooker fun, I don't think she was actually widely known. The little background we knew about um, Hilda, Chef Hilda, was that she had a little thing going on for her. She had some sort of spotlight even before the cook happened because some people recognized her as winner of some, you know, competitions, um, lower competitions that have taken place in Nigeria and, you know, beyond. And she, so, what do you think? Do you think it was actually wrong for Chef Dami to have done this? Your thoughts and so, in and um, tell me, are you interested in breaking? any world record are you interested tell me in the comment section if you're interested in actually breaking any world record or the other oh, what are your thoughts on this video please weigh your thoughts in down below in the comment section i will be looking forward to reading your comments and hey if you like this video you can like and share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video until another video i'll see you next time